Hey folks, Kate here with a gentle flow practice for the month of November. Go ahead and grab your props. You'll want blocks, a blanket, bolster, maybe a strap, and join me on your mat. A couple of reminders before we get started. Always make sure you're listening to your body, adjust things as necessary, and be sure to enjoy your practice. Once you're all set up with your props, let's go ahead and get started on your back in constructive rest. And that's any position that feels comfortable and relaxing to you. I like to keep my feet a little bit wider than hips distance and let my legs kind of relax into each other. Once you find this shape, take a big inhale Big sigh. Big inhale. Big sigh. Let your breath settle into its natural rhythm. And take a moment to observe where your attention is being pulled. Whether that's physical sensations, emotional sensations, thoughts in your brain, a big tangle of all of those things. Just acknowledge that pull. very gently encourage your focus to shift just to your body and your yoga practice right now. Start to encourage a more expansive inhale. See if you can let your cage expand 360 degrees. And let your exhale be nice and relaxed and slow. In and out. Keep nourishing this breath cycle. As this expansive breath becomes more familiar in your body, start to observe where you might be feeling some resistance in your ribcage. For me, that's in my mid back. That might be somewhere else for you. See if you can focus your inhale on that resistance a little bit of movement there. Keep this breath going, go ahead and adjust your feet and knees so they're hips distance apart, bring your arms overhead. We're gonna start to move with our breath. No reason to get stressed out about it if you're not perfectly lined up. Just keep breathing and keep moving in a rhythm that feels good for you. We'll pause on our inhale, big expansive inhale. Exhale, hug your right knee towards your chest. Stay on your inhale. Exhale, a little bit more of a hug. Inhale, replace the right knee down, bring your arms overhead. 
other side. Exhale, left knee towards your chest. Big expansive inhale. Stay on your exhale. Inhale, replace the left leg from your arms overhead. Let's repeat that. Exhale, right knee comes in. Hug. Expand your rib cage on your inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to move back to center. Exhale, hug your knee towards your chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Back to center. We're going to add on here. Exhale, hug your knee towards your chest. Inhale, extend your right heel towards the ceiling any amount. Your arms can come out into a T. Stay on your exhale. Inhale, reach your heel just a little bit longer. Exhale, hug your knee towards your chest. Inhale, back to center. Other side, hug your left knee in. Inhale, arms out into a T, extend your left leg long. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug your knee. Inhale, back to center. One more time on each side. Exhale, right knee comes in. Inhale, reach your right heel in. Stay on your exhale. Reach your heel. Exhale, hug your knee in. Inhale, back to center. Other side. Exhale, left knee comes in. Inhale, reach your legs up. Stay on your exhale. Reach just a little bit more. Exhale, hug your knee in. Inhale, back to center. Pause here. Let your breath settle. Take a moment to observe how that movement is feeling in your body. And then we'll make our way into a twist. So you'll let your legs fall to the right. Now you may find that it feels good to not keep your knees stacked and keep this left leg kind of walking back a little bit. You'll get a little bit of a quad stretch, hip flexor stretch. Or it might feel better for you to scoot your hips over to the left and Bring both thighs on top of each other. Find whatever variation works for you. You might find that you switch variations. We'll pause here for a few breaths. Keep your inhale expansive, your exhale relaxed. On your next exhale, go ahead and roll through center. Adjust your hips how you need to and make your way over to the other side. On your next exhale, go ahead and come back to center. And we'll make our way forward into child's pose. Add your knees if you'd like. I always like to bring a blanket underneath my knees here. Pause here.
walk your hands towards the right corner of your mat to create a gentle C shape in your spine. Inhale into the left side of your body. And then come back from your center over to the other side. Hands are towards the left corner of your mat. Let your inhale expand the right side of your body. Go ahead and walk back through center, make your way up to table and start moving through some cat-cow, some intuitive movement here. Now, if your wrists are feeling sensitive, walk yourself back to kneeling and take a seated cat-cow variation. You can always just do this if you feel like it too. We're just articulating the spine, shoulders, and hips here. You don't need to get super specific. And then go ahead and come to a neutral spine. If you like to use blocks, go ahead and set them up at the top of your mat. Okay, we're going to bring our right foot forward into low lunge. And we'll walk ourselves up first. We're going to do a little bit of engagement. So we're gonna pull everything into your center line. Pull your right heel back and your left knee forward. You're gonna wrap your belly in a nice strong hug. Keep breathing, even with this engagement around the middle, let your shoulders relax down. Keep all of this engagement and shift forward any amount, including zero. Okay, so that might just mean you're staying here and you're still getting some stretch in the front of this left thigh. I mean, you can shift forward just a little bit. And then go ahead and reach for your blocks, place them on either side of your foot or just inside of your foot and slide your hips back for half splits. Heel your right toes off the mat, press your right heel into the earth and draw it towards you just a little bit. Keep a gentle wrap of the belly. And then come forward back to your low lunge. We're gonna wiggle our right foot out 45-ish degrees for lizard pose. This is the first time we're visiting this pose, so be Kind to your hips. You can let your hips sink any amount here. And then nice and slow, we're going to wrap our belly in the hug to shift our hips back. Bring your right foot back. And we'll switch sides. Left foot comes forward. We're going to start with our active lunge. Zip everything together. Wrap your belly in a hug. Let your shoulders relax. Shift forward any amount, including zero. Keep breathing even when you've got nice, strong engagement in your abdominals. That's why we want to make sure we've got lots of space in the And then melt forward, place your hands on your blocks. Shift your hips back, half splits. Press your left heel into the earth. Pull it towards you just a little bit. Keep your belly wrapped in a hug. And 
and then shift forward back to your low lunge. Wiggle your left foot out 45-ish degrees, Liz in pose. And we're being gentle here. This is the first time we're visiting this pose. We're really getting into the outside of the hip. We'll spend more time there with you. Grab your belly in a hug to shift your hips back. Bring your left foot. Move your blocks out of the way to start. Take a couple rounds of cat. Come to your neutral spine. We're gonna move through thread the needle, but before we settle, into thread the needle, we're going to move in and out first. Okay, so move into your neutral spine, keep a little bit of a wrap of the belly. We're gonna sweep our right arm open to the right, like we're trying to reach for the ceiling. Exhale, we're gonna thread it behind our left hand, get a little bit of a twist. Inhale, open up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. All right, this time we're gonna settle. Go ahead and slide that arm all the way through. Rest your head on the ground. Let your inhale really expand that space between your shoulder blades. You're gonna press into your left hand to unwind. Come back to your table. Reset your neutral spine. Wrap your belly in a hug. Left side, inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. And this time we're gonna land the left shoulder. Keep your inhale expansive. And then you'll press into your right hand to unwind. Replace both hands on the floor, sink your hips back, child. Come on back to table. Bring both blocks underneath your hand. Bring your right foot forward, low lunge. We're just gonna sweep our arms up. Cactus the arms, lift the heart. So we've got a little bit of a back bend here. And then inhale, reset that rib cage over your hips. Place your hands on your blocks, half split. Let's do that again. Rock forward into your low lunge. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, lift the heart. Inhale, reset your rib cage. Hands come to your block, slide your hips. One more time. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, little back bend. Reset the rib. Exhale. Come forward, bring your right foot back. Other side. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale. Hands come down, slide your hips back. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Cactus. Reset the ribs. Last time. Come forward. Little back bend. Reset. Exhale. Come forward back to your left. Bring your left foot back. Move your blocks out of the way. Thread the needle. Right arm sweeps up. Thread up through. 
open. And that's right. Open. Saddle the shoulder. Big expansive vision. Press into your left hand, unwind. Back to table, other side. Left side opens. Thread it through. Open. Thread. Open. Thread all the way through, land the left shoulder. Deep you inhale, expand. Press into your right hand, unwind, and back to your table. We're going to walk out to plank pose, knees up or down. You can do this on your arms as well. Just for a few breaths here. Wrap your belly in a strong hug first. Then engage your glutes to add support. Walk back to table. Curl your back toes under. Your hips up and back downward. Settle out your heels. Find stillness. Take a big inhale. Big sigh. Big inhale. Big sigh. Lower your knees to the ground. We're going to do the exact same thing again. Bring your blocks underneath your hands. Right foot comes forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, back. Inhale, reset your ribs. Exhale, half speed. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, back. Inhale, reset your ribs. Exhale, half speed. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Reset your ribs. Half Inhale, we're going to just bring that right foot back. Other foot comes forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, back. Inhale, reset the ribs, shift the hips back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale back, reset the ribs, shift the hips back, come forward to bring the left foot back, move your blocks out of the way, table back. Thread the needle, here we go. Open the right arm. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. This time we're landing the right shoulder. Keeping the inhale nice and expansive. Press into the left hand to unwind. Back to table. Other side. Left hand comes open. Exhale. And back. And twist. We're going to lay on the left shoulder this time. Open. And twist. Left shoulder land.
press into the right hand to Adi. Come on back to your table, walk out to plank pose just for a few breaths. Strong wrap of the belly. Then engage the glutes. Keep breathing. Walk your hands back, curl your toes under, pick your hips up and back, downward facing back. I'm going to take a layer off. Now is a great time. Lower. Being fairly gentle. Still building a little bit of warmth. And onward facing down. Big inhale, big sigh, big inhale, big sigh. Nice and slow, we're going to walk our feet forward to forward fold. Your feet are any width that feels uh, comfortable for your hips. You can add blocks underneath your hands. Shift around here. And then nice and slow, we'll make our way up to standing. And whatever way makes sense for your body, you might come up with a neutral spine, you might roll up. If you're rolling up, be sure to take a nice deep bend in your knees, let your torso be heavy. Once you make your way to standing, take your time to wiggle around, see how your body's feeling. Find your mountain pose. We're gonna take some arm swings here. You can make these as vigorous and loose or slow and controlled as you like. Kind of think about skiing perhaps. So we're just gonna take a big inhale, exhale, let yourself fall forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale. We're gonna start to let um, encourage these to be more controlled. So think about starting to shift into chair pose. The next time you land in chair pose, you're gonna stay there. Belly is wrapped in a hug, hips are back. A little bit of warmth in your legs here. And then melt forward, forward. Either remain in this forward fold or roll up the top of your mat and roll it underneath the balls of your feet. See if that shifts some sensation in your legs in a way that feels supportive and not dangerous. Whatever variation you find yourself in, Make sure that you can fully breathe. We don't ever want to be so challenged that we can't take full breaths. We're going to go ahead and let that mat unroll. 
make our way back up just wherever you want to go. Find mountain pose. We're going to shift our weight into our right foot. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see. Pick up the left knee for tree pose. Any variation. And then nice and slow, we're going to transfer through chair pose. Pause here for a couple breaths. Stand straight up on your left foot. Right knee turns out. Tree pose. Oops. Let's do that again. Each side, right foot comes down. Chair pose. Stand straight up. Tree pose. Left foot comes down. Chair pose. On up. Ooh. Take your time. And then we're going to place our feet wide. Your feet can be any amount of turned out that feels good for you. We're just going to take a wide legged forward fold here. Grab your blocks if you like that support. Let your, sh your hips shift around here. And then if your feet are not already turned out, go ahead and turn your toes out slightly. You're gonna sit your hips back as if you were in goddess pose, but we're gonna keep our hands down on the blocks or the floor. And then you're going to walk your hands to one side and like really, really reach away from that opposite hip. So my hands are on the right and I'm kind of resisting my right hands and my left hip are pulling away from each other. And then we're going to move through center over to the other side. So my left hands and my right hip are pulling away from each other. And then I'm gonna move through center. I'm gonna wiggle walk my feet in slightly. We're moving into yogi squat. Use a block underneath your hips if that feels good. We're gonna let this be nice and relaxed. Relax your eyelids. Even imagine your inhale is expanding your pelvis and all those tight bits around your hips here. Couple more breaths. And then from here, you'll move into your variation of pigeon. So that might be classic pigeon variation where one knee comes forward and the other knee extends back. Then you relax forward. You can bring something under this hip. You can also take fire log. This is my preferred variation. So your shins are stacked and then you fold forward any amount. You might also come onto your back and take figure four. So whichever variation feels good for you take figure four. We'll be here for a few minutes. A 
let your breath settle. Don't try to change it. Just keep your breath moving. Couple more breaths here. When you're ready to transition sides, take your time. You need to reset your hips, reset your hips. find you need different support or a different variation for the second side, that's okay. few more breaths here. When your second side feels comfy, take your time to come out. Reset yourself as you need. And then go ahead and grab your pillow or bolster. We're going to move through a couple of restorative poses to close this yoga practice. We're going to start with supported twist. You can either leave your bolster flat or you can prop it up. I prefer to have a little bit of height under my head. And we'll start on, you're gonna snuggle up one hip at the bottom of your bolster. And you're gonna twist your rib cage and let it drape over your bolster. Your head is going to land anywhere that feels comfortable for your neck. I will be silent for the next few minutes. Once you settle in, let your breath flow freely and let yourself sink into the bolster.
Take a few more breaths. When you're ready to switch sides, use your hands to gently press yourself up. And then just roll over to the other hip. Take your time. Snuggle up next to your bolster. Rotate your rim cage and drape yourself over. Take a few more breaths here. And when you're ready, use your hands to slowly press yourself up. We will roll so the bolster is towards our back. And you'll transition into supported fish. So you might decide to adjust your bolster, the height of the bolster. You keep it as is. Ready, go ahead and relax yourself back. Let your legs be anywhere that feels comfortable for you. This should be a restful position. Before you settle in here for a few minutes, perhaps it would feel good to nice and slow sweep your arms up and down. Find any tight spots in your chest. When you're ready, find stillness. Let yourself melt into your bolster. Let your body feel heavy and supported.
to remain here for the last few minutes of class. Or transition into a different shape for Shavasana. Once you find stillness, relax the space between your brows, unlock your jaw, and let your body feel heavy and supported for a few final minutes of rest. Bring awareness back to your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Nice and slow, make your way up to a comfortable seat. Close with two deep breaths together. Big inhale, big sigh, big inhale, big sigh. The light in me honors the light in you.